usability of large language models shine through when we fine tune them fine tuning a large language model is like teaching a very smart student to specialized in a specific spe subject imagine you have a student who knows a little bit about everything now you want them to become an expert in say marine biology to do this you give them lot of books articles and quizzes specifically about marine life the ocean ecosystem and related topics as they study this new material they get better and better at understanding and answering questions about marine biology in the world of artificial intelligence fine tuning works similarly you start with a general llm that knows a lot about many topics then you teach it more about a specific area by feeding it additional information and examples from that field this process makes the model more accurate and effective at tasks related to that specific area just like our student becoming a marine biology expert in this video i am going to introduce you to this open source new project which is called as autodata autodata is a project that is designed to automatically create data set for the purpose of fine tuning large language models and that is quite useful because one of the major hurdles in fine tuning the llms is the lack or lack of data sets or the lack of them in the proper format one of the good thing about this project is that it is evolving and it is currently focusing on incorporating data analysis features for llm data sets into this project so let's get started i will be using my local system in order to get started one thing you would need is your open ai's api key from platform.openai.com which is of course a paid thing okay so let me log into my ubuntu this is my ubuntu system now in this one first we need to git clone that github repo which i have just shown you let me clear the screen and if i take you back to that github repo and show you where to get the link so this is a github repo and i'll drop the link in video description scroll up click on the screen button and copy this github repos url from here that's done now let's go back to the ubuntu system or whatever system you are using and then do git clone just paste your url here press enter and it has been cloned on your local system now let's cd to this directory by just doing auto dash data and if i ls dash ltr these are all the files which are already present now at this point in time it is good idea to set your environment variable to your um, open ai's api key so just to export uh, open the underscore api underscore key is equal to an in single code just specify your open ai's api key and you can get it from platform.openai.com now once that's done then in the next step all you need to do is to install all the requirements so just say pip install dash r requirements.txt press enter and it is going to install all the required things and as you can see that these are a lot of packages it is installing and it's almost done let me clear my screen so that is all there is to it for the installation part and now let's generate the data set with the help of openai's chat gpt now in order to generate the data set this is a command you need to use let me walk you through this command so we are simply calling the main.py function within the current github repo we are specifying the openai model for data generation and then for the topic you can give any topic of your choice for data generation for example global economy medical legal whatever you want and then the format is json here but you can also specify parquet then the engine is native this is what it is supporting right now and as per github repo more engines are coming and this is a backend to generate data threads is an integer to indicate how many chats to be created on the topic right now i've just specified one and if you specify very huge value you might get an error if you are at the tier one of open ai due to the throttling length this is a conversation length of a chat topic i have just given it one to get started and then i am just giving it a system prompt that is to be given to the assistant so let me press enter 
okay so okay i would need to specify python 3 i guess because that is what my uh, python is called not python sorry about that so i'll just do the python 3 here press enter and you can see that this time it is running it's auto data and generating chats on mystery and horror stories hopefully it won't take too long let's wait for it to finish I will let it run and there you go it has returned with these chats as you can see it has given us the role user content that that is a captivating story and all that stuff and then the assistant role and then the assistant is replying so it's a whole back and forth chat and it has given us in this json um, format which we can use as our data set now this is how you prepare your data set just to give you a very quick example how can you use it in your code once you have that file in the json l format where every json is on the next line let me take you to a code chunk from the same github repo so if you look at this code what is happening here is that uh, let me make it slightly bigger or yeah no better now what is happening in this code here is that we're just importing some of the stuff we are initiating open AI's client we are giving the path which we just created this is a file which has contains all the data set which we have just created the name we are loading the file opening the file and then just creating it in terms of model subtopic system prop and then now our data has all the chats we are opening it in the right mode and then from here we are starting the fine tuning job with um, openai's model chat gpt 3.5 turbo and passing it our own file as a data set so now we are basically fine tuning this gpt 3.5 model on our own data set and just imagine you can um, you fine-tune any other model with its own set of apis by using the data set so you create the data set by this and then whatever for example if you're using mistral ai you use their api and fine-tuning job to fine-tune their models so sky is the limit here so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it if you have any questions or if you are stuck somewhere let me know and i'll be very happy to help out and uh, if you like the content then please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as that helps a lot thanks for watching